We're doing it. Okay. Okay. Hi, Yarnabees. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have formally introduced my other daughter, Ashley. It was very briefly in the animal video when my goat peed on her. Oh. And I threw my snake skin at her. Right. Yeah, it's great. Okay, we just won't talk about that. All right. <clears throat> so, <laughs> we have been trying to figure out for a couple of days what to talk about between the two of us, right? Because I did a Q&A with Tia, and I did a, a hooking and whining with Michelle, and That's I was hilarious. going... <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, well, okay, what can I do with Ashley? And I thought, well, maybe we could do a trivia thing. Well, we tried the trivia thing last night and realized we suck. So, um... We also had Tia yeah. FaceTiming oh. with us while doing this trivia, and yeah, it was... It was <laughs> We're oh special. Oh, yes. <laughs> but we have also discovered that I am like a genius by accident. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. All the questions, like <laughs> even hard questions of, I don't know. I can't even think of any. <sighs> Ashley got the questions right. And how did Ashley get the questions right? Because I watch a lot of TV and I'm a gamer where my knowledge comes from most of the answers that she got was because of supernatural represent I was shocked I who said TV was a bad thing I it teaches stuff I didn't even I mm, yeah because she'd explain how she knew this stuff and I was just like really <laughs> You know, and she'd be rattling off these shows, and I'm going. One of my favorite what? ones was, uh, what was it? something along the lines of, "What do you use to sharpen weaponry or oh. whatever?" <laughs> and it had these. Oh. <laughs> my little buddy. <sighs> hey, buddy. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I don't know why she's losing her shit, but she was, and now she's got the bark collar on, and she's, like, not very happy, so, too bad, so sad, so, anyway, uh, yeah, so, she, yeah, the question was, like, if, it, it, it was, like, what, what is used to yeah. sharpen a metal weapon, or something along those lines, yeah. Yeah. and I got really excited, because I knew I knew it, and said, oh, a whetstone, because I play the witcher. And they just kind of looked at me like, what is wrong with you? I, I watched the witcher, you know, and I was just like, are you kidding me? The, the answer was wedding. Like, what's it called when you sharpen your whatever? And it's called wedding. And I was like, with an H. you learned that how? Gamer so pride. She explained the whole thing and I just shook my head and I was like, wow. So anyway. <laughs> Genius by accident. Yeah, she w wiped the floor with us now, so. It's great. Yeah, I was like, holy cow. Anyways, what's in our cup? Uh, mine's coffee with hazelnut creamer and mocha drizzle stuff. You know, the how you doing? Yeah, I don't, yeah. And you're drinking? I am drinking Earl Grey tea because I am addicted to tea. <laughs> As most of the the people in YouTube are uh, in our community. I live off of it, pretty sure. I probably should drink tea, but <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, so we figured that, you know, we're just going to talk. Chit chat. Chit chat. Just, just have a chit chat, you know. Like we usually do. Yeah. Only now there's a camera in my face. Yeah. So. So how was your visit? Overall, pretty good. Um, it was definitely a little bit stressful um, seeing kind of what my aunt's going through. I'm very close to her. Um, so it, uh, I was a little shaken by that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. my sister was really concerned uh, about Ashley coming over to see her because she does look so rough. Um, she's very weak. She's kind of frail. Um, she has her head shaved halfway up and then she's got like a four inch scar that's um, in the back 
um, she's yeah she she was really worried that Ashley was gonna freak out when she saw her because she's never seen her like that she's I, I've seen other family members like that yeah. I've lost a lot of people so it's very difficult for me to sort of keep my cool <laughs> yeah yeah we don't hold our emotions very well as Empaths. you all know you all know I cry a lot <laughs> so I I come by it honestly our all the women in our family are we, we wear our hearts like on our sleeve yeah I think Michelle is probably the one that cries the least it's a, it's uh, we, me, me and Michelle, Michelle and kind Tia. of switch off depending on what the situation is. Usually yeah. either it'll be me trying to be the rock and like not cry, hold it all in, I am there for you. And other times it's Michelle. So it depends yeah. on the day or what's going on. Or Yeah. We're only four months apart so we are really close. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. My sister and I are nine years apart and we got pregnant at the same time. Weird. <laughs> so yeah, we do everything together. <laughs> but yeah, so Ashley was born in February and then just turned twenty nine. Yeah, and then Michelle Gross. was born four months later. So she, Charlene got to see all the nasties because she was in the room with me when I had Ashley. <laughs> yeah, so, and I made it look easy because I I didn't have like I had contractions, but I was not feeling them and uh, my sister's looking at the monitor going can you feel that and I'm like I feel cramping but that's about it and she's like what like you're having a full-on <laughs> contraction so I I made it I was so weak though I was really weak and I was really anorexic at the time was it so, me I know like me and Tia kind of had a switch off like one of us was a hard pregnancy and an easy delivery and the other one was vice yeah. versa you were a very hard um like a pregnancy I okay was, so I was the one that was more difficult long term yeah all right and still makes sense is. <laughs> I can't pull this over just a little bit here um so feeling the love <laughs> So anyways, yeah, so she, my pregnancy was horrible with her. I was pukey sick for nine, eight months of the nine. Um, Didn't you love pickles when you were pregnant with me though? When I could eat, I ate Mexican. I ate Mexican food. So why am I such a pickle fiend? We all are. Pickles and olives is our, mm, our bag there. Olives. Yeah. When I say pickle feed, I mean like... For my birthday, my girlfriend bought me a 10 pound jar of pickles and I was like cloud nine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's weird. <coughs> but, <coughs> excuse me. And then with Tia, I had a great pregnancy, but a bitch of a delivery. So, <coughs> yeah. We'd go Tia. Yeah, but anyway. So, yeah, so this last few weeks has been challenging, stressful, emotional, and it yeah. was really hard for me because I live in Maple Ridge, and I've only been to the island, what, maybe three times? I think this is my third time. You mean to Nanaimo? Like, like here. here. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I was far away from everybody, just, like, waiting on the phone during to hear what's going on. It was awful. Yeah. I don't really want to leave. <laughs> yeah. I have responsibilities and girlfriends and, and well, girlfriends. Huh. Girlfriend. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, Kelsey's not watching. <laughs> and my many, many animals, so I have to go home and... Go back to work. Go back, yeah. They're sad. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's not important work. I work at a liquor store. That's important. On the bad days, it is. Liquor's important. It is. Sometimes. Crazy customer, hey, I'm going home with a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> so, yeah, so we're... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> you know, okay. My hazelnut creamer says on the thing now. 
says on the thing now that it's lactose free. I'm lactose intolerant. I get this thing going on, right? And you can hear it in a lot of my videos when I'm drinking a coffee that, you know. So I'm going, hey, lactose free. Yeah. I'm still doing it. Well, then maybe just don't drink coffee before your videos. Oh, have tea. Oh, well, do you have your weird like fruity tea things like hibiscus, whatever? Yeah. I like my I basic could. teas. <clears throat> I should probably because my sister's got the same thing. We've got this phlegmy thing just ah, when we drink anything milk related. <clears throat> so yeah. I may have to give up my coffee. Just take a shot of espresso. <clears throat> That'll wake you up in the morning. I don't drink it to wake me up though. And it's weird. Like, I actually, <laughs> I don't know how many of you can relate to this. I don't actually enjoy, I enjoy my coffee to a point. Right? Like half a cup in. And then after half a cup, I leave it because I'm not enjoying it anymore. Here, I just thought you were forgetful. No, it's like George. It drives George crazy. He's like, why can't you ever finish anything you drink? No cup of coffee, cup of tea, pop. Well, I don't drink pop, but, <clears throat> you know, like I can't seem to finish a cup of anything. And I don't know why. But for coffee, it's like I, I get bored with it after like half a cup, I guess. And then I just move on. <laughs> Taste buds just like I'm all it. <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm like that with food too. And I think it's a throwback from anorexia and bulimia. Because, um, and I, I'm sure that a, a, a lot of people that had those um, diseases, what diseases, conditions, I hate the word disease, um, can relate because there's this psychological thing that happens where if you leave one bite of whatever <clears throat> or one sip of whatever on your plate or in your cup, then it means that you didn't actually eat too much. You always leave something behind. <clears throat> I don't know why. Like, I don't know why I do it still, because I am sure shit not anorexic now. Her, on the other hand, she looks like I did in my 20s. But like, I eat like a horse, thank you very much. But you haven't had children. Yeah, I know, it's great. I stole it from my mama. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I just, I have these little quirks, these little throwbacks that I don't even realize that I'm doing, you know, and, and then I, afterwards I go, uh, that makes uh, sense. You know, <laughs> it's weird, but it drives George bananas. I eat a lot, like a lot. And I will get like this little food baby and just sit there for an hour and then I'm good and I'm, I, I can eat again. Yeah, not me. <laughs> I just sniff food and I gain weight. So, yeah. <sighs> anyway, I'm trying really hard. Like, I went on the keto diet. I lost 20 pounds and then George wanted potatoes and that was the end of that. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm having a really hard time trying to get back. And, you know, you hear good things and bad things about keto. But um, my doctor now is really pushing me and he keeps saying it and it drives me crazy. To go on the GI diet you know and it, there's a book that you can get and all this the GI diet I think is no different than the diabetic diet it's you eat little portions of food that have no taste to them couldn't do it like not like the no salt no and I'm just going oh, mm -mm. I no. I like my food to like throat punch my taste buds <laughs> I need a lot of flavor, <laughs> especially spicy. I love spicy. Oh man! Which I guess if you're eating Mexican and stuff and you're pregnant, that makes sense. Yeah, I 
<laughs> you know, good. I, uh, I'm colorful. <laughs> I don't like, I can't eat spicy foods anymore. I can eat a little bit of spice, but I have acid reflux disease and, um, a hiatal hernia. So, and I also don't have a gallbladder. So, so much wrong with you. I've had many, many surgeries. It's true. For different things. So, um, I can't handle spicy food. I can't handle eating after seven o'clock at night, but I do it anyway. I just torture myself. <laughs> I like hot sauce on pretty much everything. Toast. I can do it. <laughs> totally. You could just like put some cheese on it. Good. Yeah, good. Uh, I, I could probably make it work. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> good time. Yeah. So I got a really good response from uh, my video with Michelle. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of good, <laughs> good comments on that. Uh, I didn't know quite how it was gonna go over. You never know with us. Like, yeah. <laughs> so many things can happen. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I mean, the, the, like, yeah, the whole story about my gift went over really well. <laughs> so great. And I thought, after I did it, I was like, Oh, I'm either going to lose a lot of subscribers or gain a lot of subscribers. I don't know what's going to happen. And so, but the comments were hilarious, right? And uh, I'll leave that video link on whichever side it is. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, everybody's telling me that they love the videos of me with the kids or my sister or you know family time they like the family time so we are pretty freaking awesome <laughs> not gonna lie <laughs> oh man um yeah so i guess i'll keep doing that and uh george is you know he needs to do another carpet trail video soon mm -hmm. we're just we're really trying to get back on track now uh now that charlene's back home um, and we're trying to figure things out. Uh, I may have to go and spend a couple days with her, um, because her hubby just found a job. We were kind of worried about that. So he just found a job. He starts tomorrow. I don't know what his hours are going to be, but Charlene doesn't feel comfortable, comfortable being left alone yet. So... Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to do a video with her. That would be fun. You know, after we prop her up and, you know, get her to the point where she can feel comfortable doing it. Um, well, her vision was getting pretty good last time we were there, so she wouldn't have to be a pirate either. Yeah, she has to wear an eye patch, so, because <clears throat> she's still got the double vision, but she's working on trying to get it, you know good enough to be able to see it's my little buddy oh Bailey has been by Ashley's side the whole time she's been here and she's been sleeping with her and yes there's photographic evidence oh uh, it's like maybe we'll put a picture here <laughs> My little buddy. So just want to like stuff her in my suitcase and she'd go too. <laughs> she'd be like, "Yeah, I'm off. I'm going on vacay. <laughs> Bye." <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want to talk about? Huh? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Either. How How do you feel about me being here for the past week? Your wild child. It's been nice. It's. I mean, the circumstances haven't been. Yeah, the wonderful. circumstances suck. Yeah, but it's been really nice. And, you know, maybe one day you'll actually be able to bring Kelsey. <clears throat> you know, but, uh, yeah, it's it's always nice when I have my kids. And, like, come on, I'm firstborn. I'm amazing. This is what I have to put up with all the time. 
yes. like a battle between the two of them. There's no battle. There's an obvious winner. <laughs> oh, okay. So and Tia says, I'm the favorite. <laughs> and mm, yeah, a little bit. She's, she's a little baby. I want to say a huge thank you to, whoops, almost dropped my coffee, to, to <clears throat> Jane for Scraptastic Yarns. Um, she did the, um, the sale of her bags and she was able to raise, um, just over $300 for my sister. Uh, I got the money and I sent it along to my sister and of course my sister is still just like, ah! you know, she's, she doesn't even know what to say. She's preparing herself to do a thank you video. Um, uh, but she can't seem to get through what she wants to say without crying. So, which is fine, you know, <clears throat> but she's just like, no, I got to be able to get through this. And, uh, so she got to watch Jane's video and we all cried while we were watching it. We watched it all together. Uh, so that was cool. And, um, Vero from Vero's Crochet. She's also doing a um, a raffle. So we'll go check her out. I'll leave the link down below. Yeah, so there's so many, so many videos or so many raffles and everything going on between my sister Charlene and um, um, Charlie from Having Arm with Charlie that, oh, the mailman's here. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry about that. Mailman came. Okay, so yeah, so um, there's raffles going on for Have a Yarn with Charlie as well to get her and her other half to go see her father-in-law because he's just been diagnosed with brain cancer. So <clears throat> I've gone and bought my raffle tickets, so go on over and buy yours as well. Um, uh, there's a few people that are doing raffles for that, I think. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, what else? Um, I can't think of anything. Oh my God. I've been watching everybody's videos and I keep thinking, oh yeah, I got to mention that. And oh yeah, I got to mention that. And whoop. It's gone. It's See gone. Ya. Oh man. My brain is just a sieve. It's true. Oh, that was enough. That was one of the questions that we had too. <laughs> oh, now the battery's dying. Damn it! Hang on. <laughs> you tell me. Okay. Oh, oh, jeez. Whoa. Okay. Um. Whoa. <laughs> I know. Slow your roll. <laughs> Which <Yeah>. one? <laughs> no, I think George is really gonna miss me. Really? We bonded. What do you mean, really? <laughs> we bonded. <laughs> Sports. Oh, I tell you, Ashley watches hockey. Canucks all the way, baby. And George watches football. I had no idea that George knew so much about every freaking sport there is. So Ashley absolutely had to watch the hockey game a couple days ago. The one against Boston. We won. It was yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And George and her were yelling and screaming and carrying on like George usually does when he's watching football. It was great. <sighs> Mom just looked traumatized. I was like, how does he know what's going on? Cause he's just rattling off crap that, and I'm like, that was offside. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, he's, that should have been a penalty shot. <laughs> <laughs> and he's rattling off stuff like like he's been watching it all the time, like stats and you know players and 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 I'm like, we don't do hockey. What what's happening? <laughs> and so you know I'm just sitting here crocheting like usual and letting them have their time and you know and I thought, how do you know everything about everything? Like <laughs> I just don't understand. You know, so yeah, crap. She was very surprised by his reaction to the game. Mm-hmm. 
and he told her we're bonding yeah yeah i was like okay well this is what you have to look forward to now when i come over oh great me and george will bond over hockey well, right. no one, I, my girlfriend's the only one who will watch hockey with me, so. <sighs> Great. <laughs> there I'm thinking, okay, yeah, uh, so football's over, yay. And um, I get my house back. I do hockey right. I have my, my blue eyeshadow, my jersey, my Brock Besser jersey. I had my Canuck pajama pants. <laughs> I'm like a walking advertisement for the Canucks. Yeah. It it's was great. Yeah. Um, oh, what have I crocheted? There we go. Uh, you know what? I've been crocheting like every day like a mad woman and I have nothing to show for it, really. I don't know how that happens. It's like, you're crocheting, so you should be producing something. Really? <laughs> so all I could find was, well, I got a couple things. Ah. So I made this hat. That's cute. Uh, there. My, my own design. And then I, I made a cowl. To go with it. I like the color. This is a V stitch cowl. Um so yeah, so I made made that. And I forget what yarn this is. Um oh here it is. This is Premier Everyday yarn. And the color, and I don't have my glasses, of course. You're gonna have to help me out with this. <clears throat> uh, it's 100% anti-pilling acrylic. And the color is... Red Heather. Red Heather. It's so pretty. This is like one of my favorite colors. So, it comes in a gray Heather too. I think <clears throat> so so I made that and then when my sister was in the hospital I put this on my Instagram and my Facebook page <laughs> I made <clears throat> some masks so you know how you got the medical mask right and when you put this on it looks really ugly <laughs> <laughs> it just looks ugly right so, uh, and it slips up and it's like, it's horrible. So I made masks and you can put this whoop, over top. Ow. <laughs> ah, let's try this. Ah. There we go. There. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that character from... Oh, what's that superhero? Which one? A lot of them wear masks and stuff. But he was like, he had this weird mask on. Oh, I can't remember the name, his name. Anyway, so this is made, this is made <laughs> from Bernat Blanket. <laughs> so, and you can make it bigger, right? And it's just basically elastics, elastic bands, right? If you're skiing, you don't have to use that one. And then you just... Do you look like you should be in like Mortal Kombat or something? Yeah, that's that, that character. He's like, it was from that, was it that movie? Well, I was talking about the video game, but sure. Okay, anyway. <laughs> So if you're skiing and you have your toque on and you know, then you can just wear this and keep, cause I know for me, when I'm out in the cold, you know, my face really you gets avoid cold. The cold. I know. And it's you like, don't go out in the cold. I know. <laughs> it's like it's gross out there. I'm not going. I know. So <laughs> I hate it when my, my face gets 
you know, and my nose, it hurts, right, when you're breathing that cold air. So, yeah, so you can use this. Are you sure you're Canadian? Uh, yeah, I know, right? And I also made it in blue. So, yeah, it's brunette velvet. Isn't that pretty? So, yeah, they're just like a, like hair tie elastics, right? And, uh, yeah. So, ta-da! So, I made those. Okay, and then my niece made her first sweater ever. She's never made a sweater before. Um, so I taught her how to make the... <laughs> okay, so that's my hair. <laughs> uh, I taught her how to make the sweater that I made. You know, I had the short-sleeved one and then I had a long-sleeved one. Um, I'll put the link down below of the pat for the pattern for that. But, oh, sorry. <laughs> so this is it. It looks all black, but it's not. There you go. It's two different colors. Right? So she made this one. That's kind of hard to see, but it's so pretty. And it's, hers is the V-neck. I had a hard time trying to do the v-neck for some reason, but she actually did do the v-neck. So, yeah. And this is about a medium, I think. Yeah, I think it's about a medium. But it's so pretty. So pretty. And I can't remember... I can't remember the yarn she used. I can see it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it right there. It's not scarfy. It's like that word that you could see, oh. but never seem to remember. I, yeah, there's just the whole time I've been here. I've been trying to figure out this word, and I, I. Did you forget the word again? <laughs> I know it starts with an R and an E. <laughs> Oh my, you, how can you forget, we have been over this every day <laughs> that I have been here, and she's like, there's this word that I'm thinking of, but I don't know what it is, and literally she used it like a couple sentences later, <laughs> and like, is that the word you were thinking of? She's like, yes! And then she forgets it again. <laughs> Apparently it's not a word that I really need to know. <laughs> You still don't know what it is, though. I keep thinking respect. That's not the word. <laughs> no, it's longer than that. <sighs> Recognition. That's it! <laughs> what did you do without me? Oh, I'm going to put it on a sticky note. <laughs> And put it somewhere and then I'll forget where I put it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Recognition. There's the word for the day. <laughs> Holy, why can I not remember that word? Menopause? <laughs> You'll be there one day. Eh, we'll see about that. Oh, I have this other thing, but I don't know. Okay, I'll show it. I'm really disappointed with it. Why? Because it's not pretty. <laughs> it's not pretty. Okay, so I did a, um, a yarn haul a little while ago with this yarn that I got from Hirsch, no, Hirschman's, no, Premier, and I can't remember the name of it, it's in the box in the other room, 
But anyways, it's a premier yarn and I bought quite a bit of it because it was on sale. And I thought, oh, that'll make a nice shrug. You know, like a nice long shrug, you know. <sighs> I tried to make it into a shrug. I hated it. These are so not my colors. And I was really disappointed. So I took the shrug apart. And now I'm thinking that maybe I'll just make this as the middle square, granny square, for a blanket. Because I don't want to have to undo all this. And I've got so much of this yarn. And I'm just going, hmm. My first thought when I... Did you actually show them? The oh. colors? Well, I showed them the yarn when I unboxed it. But the yarn looks so different when it's in a ball. <laughs> so, <clears throat> when, I, when I look at this, I think of Crystal from Bag A Day. Because these are probably her colors. Very hippie colors. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I, I lined it with... Is that the... No. I can't... I don't have that yarn in front of me. But anyways, it's kind of like a... Oh, come on. There we go. It's kind of a heather color. <clears throat> so this is like, yeah, it's not my style at all. <sighs> it was very disappointing. It would be cute for a blanket though. Well, oh, oh, you know what? My next door neighbor, um... Marina, if she's watching, she may, sometimes she watches my videos. Um, she's got a camper van that she's redoing. Like she's gutted this camper van. Uh, okay, it's not a camper van. It's a, what do you call them? A, like an RV? RV, like <laughs> thing. It's two she's, letters, mom. <laughs> This is why she loves having me over. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brat. That's my job. Oh my God. Okay, anyways, she's got this RV <laughs> that she is gutted. Completely gutted. And this thing was like a 70s, 80s RV, right? And um, so what she wants to do is she wants to deck it out in like hippie kind of style. She wants to paint the outside with, I can't remember what she said, but she, oh yeah. That's awesome. She's, and so she's like, oh, it's gonna be interesting. I wonder if this would be something that she would be interested in to like throw over the bunk, the bed the bunk thing or you know, so uh, I'll make it and uh, and I'll see if she wants it for RV. Oh, George, George. is home. Georgie Borgie. Oh God, don't say that to him. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll uh, I'll show I'll show this to her and see if it's something that she's she's interested in. As long as it, it's out of my house. <laughs> Just want it gone. <laughs> yeah, because this is like things things of nightmares, you know. <laughs> I just no. They are totally not my not my colors at all. So Okay, so we're gonna go and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Bye.